Hi. And um, so we're in Singapore today. Um, so we have been here for a couple of days now, staying at Johnny's place. Um, so Gita's Thank you very much, Johnny. Much <laughs> yes. appreciated. We so, had a fabulous time. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> um, so Gita's had the pleasure of uh, exploring Singapore for two days. And I've joined um, uh, him and Johnny just today because yesterday I was in bed. Because um, I caught a cold. Um, it's because of the air conditioning everywhere and then freezing buses and freezing trains which basically are like Antarctica. Like and imagine sitting on a seven hour bus in about 15 degrees temperature in, in t-shirts and shorts when you're used to 35 degrees yes. every day. So for you guys it probably doesn't sound that bad but then it's 20 degrees difference it's quite significant. So anyways, yeah, I'm feeling much, much better today and um, although my voice is a little bit of a still, but um, yeah, we've been exploring Singapore today and um, our observations about Singapore, well, it is a, um, it is a very modern, a very organized um, city, a very structured city, but um, well, you, you can get a lot of fines here because everything is so well organized and so strict uh, yeah. that you can get fines for... Yeah, if, you, if you eat smelly food on the bus, you get a $500 fine. If you uh, spit in a public place or smoke in a public place, it's up to a $1,000 fine. If you don't flush a public toilet, you get a fine. Uh, you can't chew gum. Um, chewing gum is completely forbidden in the country. And if you try to smuggle drugs into the country, it's death penalty. Yeah. Without even like a court jurisdiction Simple judging, fact. just that um, Yeah, but in any other system, um, it actually has flaws. Yeah. So when we were exploring Singapore today, we went to some um, quite nice areas, um, to Chinatown, um, Arab Street, Little India. Um, we went to this quite a, quite a small street in Little India. Um, and uh, we were just uh, really, really surprised actually that there were um, a lot of Indian guys coming up um, in this really small sort of alleys or small doors. And uh, we started taking peeks, what was happening there? And then what we discovered actually that street was um, a little Indian spread uh, light district. Yeah, so, so in those little alleys you have a stair staircase, and on the stairs there's lots of women sitting. Uh, and men are peeking at the women and there's actually a queue and every once in a while, probably 15, 20 minutes, a new guy enters um, the staircase and just goes up. And I was standing on the other side of the street and, and the women on the staircase started waving to me, sending air kisses, um, and only then would sort of click why the men are queuing and what, the, what, what those women are doing there. Yeah. So yeah, didn't, we didn't expect to see a an Indian service like that, especially not in Singapore. No, and we checked with the locals who were queuing up there, that's Brockwell, and then they not that one. Yeah, the locals seemed quite excited. <laughs> so, it was really bizarre as well, because in Little India, we didn't see any women at all, any Indian women. And actually, all the women, all the men were staring at me, so that was a little bit... Mm, Shivila, Shivila was like a, like a best well-known Bollywood star. And all the Indian men were, were staring at her. Yeah, all the it, time. it felt very interesting. Um, so, anyways, um, apart from that, um, yeah, Singapore was an interesting experience. Uh, very modern, very um, organized, very strict. Um, so, we are off to actually quite an interesting destination tomorrow, which is Myanmar, Burma, and we'll see in Yangon. So, that should be a really, really interesting video coming from there. <laughs> hopefully. I mean, hopefully, these videos are interesting for you guys. See you there? Yeah. Bye-bye.